Hello, and welcome to Connecting with the Stars here with Mary Edwards and the amazing Lowell Johnson. Hi, Lowell, it's great to have you here today. Mary, thank you for inviting me. While we were sitting in the green room, I want to kind of set the stage for everybody else that's ever going to listen to this. Because we have, uh, Mary is a supercharged person. I got a chance to see her in Shasta last year, and we really didn't get the chance to interact the way we had hoped. But, you know, you would go to Shasta, you get caught up in that energy in the first place. But we have a saying where I grew up, and it was, you know, who threw a quarter in your nickel slot? That's Mary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, mm -hmm. that, yeah, you know, I got the half dollar, so I think we're, we're both. <laughs> Well, uh, just before we start, I would like to give a, a background on you, but it is such a pleasure and joy to have you here. Um, even though we connected Mount Shasta, it was a huge life change for you. And this is going to be part one of a part four series of Lowell and Mount Shasta and where he's been and where he's gone. It's going to be a magical mystery tour of seeing the unseen because we are here to tell the truth at this time. We are in a revolution, a renaissance, an evolution of time and history. And that's why we're all here playing our part together. And um, it's just such an honor. I'm so glad we've connected. And it, we, I, it was just a matter of time. We did connect a bit then, but um, after the bio, we'll get into you and hear your incredible journey that is just um, like no other. So anyway, here we go on Lowell. Lowell spent the majority of his professional career as a hospitality executive, willing to take on leadership roles in industries and or communities in every part of the country where he lived. He has spoken publicly numerous times at events over the course of his career in preparation, he believes and knows, um, to present something bigger down the road. Chasing things were all conditioned to do were all conditioned to do and becoming successful get, began to leave him empty. It took a wake up call in the form of a TIA or mini stroke late in 2015 for him to realize how much more he wanted to learn about spirituality. This is when his quest for the truth began. He finally started listening to the universe and its messages, fully realizing his obligation to share what he'd been shown and told. Lowell understands what he's doing here and the truth of the 3D world experiment. Hiking alone in the forests of Mount Shasta, he was intentionally seeking an audience with, with ascended masters. Unaware of Telos and the Lemurians, he certainly didn't expect the mountain to open up and invite him inside. That experience triggered an awakening meant to be shared with all of humanity wisdom that came from higher places. It is one thing to think of communicating with extraterrestrials, but his contact wasn't with beings from other places in the universe. It was with beings that had been right here on her earth for thousands of years, hundreds of years or thousands of years. Since then, the DNA awakening process and recall have set the stage for countless multidimensional experiences beyond just Kellos leading to a greater comprehension of the enhanced photon light we are receiving and how it's meant to be used. It is time now to share these multidimensional experiences and remind those who have been triggered by, these story, by this story, this, these same abilities are dormant within you and well waiting to be brought back into our awareness. Realizing how to maintain high vibrations is happening right now. Lowell is a light worker, an ascension blogger, host of Starbucks Mystery School podcast, author of Starbucks Dimensional Adventures, and most notably, a Telos delegate. He was, while he was drawn to spirituality, when he was younger, he lived his life like many of us do getting a traditional job in the hospitality as a hospitality executive, which did allow him to gain a leadership at public speaking experiences and help prepare him for his, what his ultimate mission would be. 
Lowell's awakening started to unfold in 2015 that led him to this amazing experience at Mount Shasta where he was invited inside to go into the world of the beyond through an ascension process. He has, he has created an amazing website where you can find out more about all his incredible adventures and the, the deep wisdom he has received. He's the Telos Traveler and Crystal Skull Dabbler, multi-dimensional traveler. Ta-da, the Lowell Johnston superhero. <laughs> light, <laughs> light worker here beaming to us today from San Francisco to the Midwest. And we are both Californians and Midwesterners. So we not only That's are right. here to light work, we are here to connect more dots everywhere. So welcome Lowell and um, I'll just let you go. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a lot to unpack, isn't it? You know, yes. I've never really heard it all kind of summarized in that way. You, bits and pieces of that have been kind of drafted by others, thankfully, because really it, it's it's not that I'm not willing to speak uh, and there, but there's a certain level of discomfort that associates itself with this particular content. Um, I, I had to get over it because what I've been shown, as you said already, wasn't meant for just me. It was meant for everybody. And I'm convinced that one of the reasons why I get these gifts, these things were placed in my path is because you know I had the capacity to understand it, the time to invest into it, um, and then the resources within myself to kind of unfold whatever that was. When I was listening to you as uh, talk about me as though I was somebody else, <laughs> somebody that was you know not experienced with any of this, what would that sound like? Because Dave, Dave Wallace, and I had had this conversation months ago about when, when the point came, the stories that I have, Dave's contact, these are real things that happen. And so we want to position ourselves. That story that we get to tell others gets attention in our direction so that we can tell you what the real bigger picture is. And the real bigger picture is those magnificent things that happened to me, happened to Dave, things that happened to Mary here are all waiting within all of us. The capacity, the ability to do that uh, isn't any different between any of us that wear these bio suits right here. It's all really a mechanism of what you can understand about multidimensionality. Once you get a grasp of that, the rest of this will all begin to make sense. And I was just like everybody else. You know, until I was in my early 60s, I was busy having a blast in the hotel, casinos, you know, resorts. I had a great life making six figures and traveling and getting to do and see things that a lot of people didn't get to do. So when this came along <laughs> during one of my last consulting gigs, Something inside of me about mid-year just said, I should be doing something else. Well, by then, meditation had become a regimen for me but for a couple of years. And as you get to that place, and my intention to use meditation as a tool was always, if there's a spirit, I really want to get in touch with it. A couple of ayahuasca journeys proved that I could do it, but... I wanted to get to the point where I could choose to slip into that whenever I wanted to. Now, you can do it, but that takes an enormous amount of focus and um, persistence and uh, determination to be able to hold that thought pattern, keep your vibration high enough to experience the other things that are going on around you as we tell these stories. But that's a lot to take on. It is, and, and, it it does, and it does take a long time. I mean, I had my first contact that I, if I hadn't painted this when my first craft, craft experience with my dad at age five, and I kept asking him, I said, why is this a spacecraft or an orb a few months ago? And I was talking to him for the first time. And I started painting all these things as a five or six years old. 
then, you know, we have to shut it down. We keep having experiences. I, like you, I'm older. And, in, and I've been, I was doing wellness interiors for 50 years, like you. But still, do, I did ayahuasca with Kenny Loggins and people in Peru about eight or years ago. Then I did it again in Boulder. And then I went, no, I want to go inside. So anyway, we, we have yeah. to be very disciplined and diligent in our, uh, in our path or we get sidetracked. And we, then we have to get bored and sort of depressed and go the night of the, you know what they call it, the dark night. And that like you did right around the same time I did. And I knew I'd been going off planet because I, I, my whole life, because I now know, and I knew then that I had these beautiful sentient beings protecting me and guiding me. And I'm only coming out of the ET closet, I call it the last few years too, because it is such a sacred and private and personal thing to discuss. And a lot of people do think we're crazy, but we don't, you know, we accept that now because the times have changed. We are in the Renaissance. We are in a revolution. We are in the evolution and people are seeing it and we have validation of it. But um, anyway, continue. I didn't mean to interrupt, but it just, it is incredible because the time is right to be here right now when we all play our part. And that's why we were building our confidence, building our you know, international work and leadership. I worked at NASA. I worked on hospitals. I've been doing wellness interiors for 50 years from the back door going, how can I see through walls? How can I come up with 20 ideas in five seconds in these, all these huge projects that I did. And because of our benevolent friends helping us step by step and educating us and planning it in uploads and downloads, particularly recently. Oh my gosh. It's like a, the fast course quadruple PhD to hurry up, giddy up and get with it now, or you will be left behind. So anyway, I'm so glad we were, you know, we're, you and Dave and I, and many of us are doing it at the right time, because this is the right time, because it's needed now at this moment, we are needed here. You know, so I started the Pleiades also, and here we go through our lifetimes. I was a a woman doctor um atlantis and an architect that got murdered in the in, um in the pyramids so all these lifetimes and then i was a witch and even my father was on the on the council when i was in salem and now i've heard from dad the last six months he passed a while ago that i i was the only one in the family that got his wiring and it's been a lonely life not knowing what the hell i was or who i was and he said it was even though he ran, he was a rocket scientist and a big aeronautical aerospace engineer. His brothers didn't have that gift. His dad did. His grandfather did. So yeah, he said, yeah, I've been going off planet since I was seven. And I'm so glad we're finally talking about it. So that validated and changed my life the last six months and has opened me up to really believe the truth in myself and to be able to continue forward with confidence and, and people can you know, believe it or not. I mean, we're all here to tell our stories. I believe you know, pretty much everybody's story. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, that, I didn't mean you to- You know, I want to point yeah. out for the people that are listening that that may sound really extraordinary and outrageous because it's outside of the realm of your understanding and your comprehension because you haven't had the experience yet. Right. I'm telling you right now that every one of you can. Every one of you can. You just have to get your mind wrapped around being open to things that you have not experienced yet. And things that may seem extraordinary to you because the universe is waiting to feed you that. Let me rephrase. Those lifetimes that Mary was referring to. So let's start breaking this down here. It's going to take us four episodes to do this. So we might as well start at the beginning. I have to presume that the people that are listening to this, that this resonates with, understand uh, in the idea of reincarnation, because if we can't get past that, then you know there's no sense in you listening to any more of this. But I'm here to help those who do believe in that and the foundation of that, because many of us are waking up to that right now, and they don't. Why well, we didn't know what that meant? Mm -hmm. As Mary had talked about, you know, you tamp that down for a long time because who the hell do you talk that about? You need to find your own touchstones along the way. And although it may seem as though my journey has really matured and I'm far along, let me tell you, I'm two years into the serious part of this. And it seems to be, though, that most of the people that have been drawn to my attention 
all seem to kind of fit in that. That's not to say that they didn't have spiritual cravings before that. And I'm certainly around a community of people that have been doing this for decades. Um, but you can tell where the human ego has played a role in kind of arresting a lot of those gifts that people have been given along the way. But like you say, whoever these newly awakened light workers are, and especially the ones that are at our stage of life, I'm, I'm with you. We're not here to convince that crowd. I'm not here to convince anybody anymore. All I can do is just hold up what I've proven to myself to be true. And that's the content that was on my website. It wasn't there to promote an idea that here's what you should believe because, you know, I found it to be true. These are how I found my truths. And if somebody else benefits from them, bless your hearts. But mine wasn't meant to be a map to you or your journey because you and I are entirely different. And that's what we ought to be celebrating in one another. And that's I don't what we necessarily... do. I mean, that's because it yeah. is staying open to the possibilities along with the psychism, what our roles are, because they pick us according to whatever our roles is. I mean, I never yes. thought since age 10, I'd be going off planet, working on interiors of subhuman, um, all the planets in the solar system. And I was lucky enough at Mount Shasta, I hadn't gone to Venus. And I went after a CE5 when I asked to go to Venus, I said, what's happened? Why haven't I gone to Venus yet? <laughs> Even though I had only told a handful of people this and I've been part of the hybridization program. I have not only hundreds, but I have thousands of hybrid children. Try to be pregnant your whole life and not know what the hell's going on. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's um, but you know, I'm, I'm thrilled that I, they gave me the task because like you, the more struggle we have, the higher we can go. It's always the balance. The, and I was part of programs. I was part of my lab and MLK and, and all some really weird stuff, but it's all part of learning. And the more we can share to help others have the courage and the strength and the positivity if they so like, because I only do positive like you and the few people that are many people we know in common now, it's all about helping educate and inspire others to keep that mind open, not judge like we grew up with in the 50s and the 60s. I mean, you know, we got a taste of it in the 1970s with, you know, the age of Aquarius. Well, we're in the real one now. And it yes, is. We are. And we got we got a glimpse of that. But it is the time now and people will get left behind. And that's fine. We're all here to do whatever we do want to do or not. Be, I wanted the harder road like you did. We wanted to help others. And however we did, and now the time is here to be here now to help really expand the consciousness and help the frequency lift for however we do it. And you've got your role. We all have our roles and they're really important roles to play. I can't go back and do anything else now. I'm so obsessed with this just to help. And I've been obsessed with children. I've taught kids and our therapy and suicidals and hospitals and stuff along on the side for my whole life too. It, whoever, it's everybody, it's everybody. We want to help lift or we won't be able to move forward. And that's why it's so cool. We're all doing it together now in a very loving, um, healing way, because that's what we're doing here. We're all here. Well, you're a service to others being. That's how you yes. play it out in this incarnation. Was but let me tie this idea of reincarnation with the things that you've been talking about. Because I'm sure that there are a lot of people going, what was she talking about a doctor in Atlantis? And you know, look, if you take the time, if you believe the idea of reincarnation, it certainly stands to reason you have had past lives. I will tell you, you've had many. Mary will back up that say you've had many. Mary's had the opportunity to explore that. But that takes time in the proper setting to be able to even go back and draw those things back out of your DNA because that's where it's stored. What's happening with us now and why these extraordinary things seem to be happening to people like Mary and myself and Dave Wallace and a, a, a number of people that I don't have the time to you know, talk about that I find authentic and I know is real. Um, our DNA is being made available to us again. Nothing's, there are distortions that are being corrected by those beings that Mary has talked about in the past. There was some distortion to human beings' DNA long ago. 
that I don't tend to really dwell on and I don't want to send my energy in that direction, but I will say it only so that we have a frame of reference that, yes, yeah, somebody messed with us along the way. Humanity, you know, was kind of stifled in its growth, but the... Oh, then they help healing us along the way too, since birth. I mean, they are sentient being friends came in and said, oh, adjustment here, adjustment here, adjustment here, all the way along so they could help groom us and, and sort of help initiate us. I mean, I've gotten, you know, I've had electric shock and then I've also had a lot of stats and math and positive things put in my brain. I remember sitting there with things on my head at age 10. So yeah, it's, it's, the reincarnation is a big key because if you don't have, it's, I know so many even Catholics and Christians, that, I mean, it's like, how can you not believe in reincarnation when you have um, studied it in other formats, but people aren't kaleidoscopes of color and light and openness like we are. Correct. We are a prism of a rainbow that, you know, I want to know everything. I want to touch people. I want to learn everything that I can. And, you know, if, if people are in a smaller lane, that's okay. But hopefully we will help people keep their minds open to the opportunities and not focus on the fear and the Debbie Downer stuff that's just, you know, you know, crippling a lot of people today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> once you open yourself up to extraordinary things, believe me, they will come. And the universe is trying to get you ready for some extraordinary things that are imminent. The planet is going through her own ascension. She's on her own path. She's on a cosmic cycle. And the time that she rises into her next level, which is imminent, if you watch any of the solar phenomenon that's going on around us, here's evidence of all of this activity. One day soon, that solar flash or whatever mechanism you want to see is about to take place. The, the things that Mary and I are holding space for the rest of you who don't get it, we're the ones that have spent the time and the resources and our energies trying to understand it all. So then when the day comes... That the rest of you sovereign beings with free will have the opportunity to finally figure out that something's changing in your energy, but you'd really like to put your finger on it. That's where we're going to be important. And it's really we'll be scary. able to help you understand right. it in the way that we had to understand. It. Right. And it's been scary and lonely. I mean, I've been people go, why, why are you a hermit? What do you do? And I go, well, I'm doing research. I mean, if I had first astrology class, uh, astrologer I went to, I was 19 in Boulder because I had seen a ghost. I had seen a, an angel. I, and when my grandmother died, I saw these foxes. I'm going, what are the, these fox animal spirits? And they said, you're a, a star seed, a baby mama, and you're held, here to help heal the planet. And it was like, you know, and you sort of put it aside, like, oh, that's not me. That's somebody else. Like, you know, I, who, who, who do you think I am? And I heard that like 50 times out of business in India 40 years ago and in China, everywhere I want people come up and say, you're a baby mama. You come from a long line. I was like, yeah, I know my background, but you know, yeah, it was big deal with rocket science and architecture and stuff all over the planet. But that wasn't me. That wasn't me, little empath Mary, who just wanted to paint rocks and make interiors feel good for everybody, so they weren't, so they could at least be safe and and have a comfy home life, right? I, I, I my blueprint was smaller than even though I had glimpses of. I mean, all my art all over the walls. That one back there was when I was at Mars, like. 40 years ago, you know, during COVID, I started taking all those dreams and those ideas that were real, real, which I didn't believe till recently were all real and started documenting them. That's why I've always taught art to kids to, and I'm speaking here, we're speaking here now to express ourselves and to have the confidence to talk about these wild, outrageous things that, you know, that people find hard to believe. And I used to too, like you did, but we are here to help and to support and to just in kind kindness, listen to other stories because everybody has a story and everybody's here for a reason. And right. You know, yeah. Once we can embrace how unique everybody is and see, watch the tribe that's assembling here, Mary, you, me, Dave, Vivian Chavez, you know, you, right. the, the list goes on. Um, there's a common thread between all of us and that none of us know that, yes, there's information Dave will share with us. There's information I will share with others and experiences that I share, as Mary has, as Vivian and lots of others have. Um, 
we're not here to become either one of them. And we've stopped quoting the experts that taught us along the way to demonstrate some type of authority that we think we need to do to satisfy your little 3D brain. We already understand that we've ascended. We're done. We've ascended. We're touching other realms and we're trying to tell you about it. So there's a bit of this that we've mastered. Now that might sound arrogant, but no, I have a special gift that I have mastered and no one else does what I can do. Just like Mary's gift is no one else she can do. And it's not that I want to learn what Mary does. I don't need to. Mary's in the tribe. When it comes time to use Mary's gifts, we are Mary. That's the way that the tribe comes together. Right. And, and we'll this be helping you is exactly that road too, because the right. Pla people, Pleiadians, Arcturians, you know, a, lot my, a lot of my people for 15 or 20 years have been saying, you're going to help, you know, you're helping on off planet interiors like you, we've been watching you here, like your father and your grandfather did, and your blah, 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 architects and engineers and stuff. And, and my daughter, Lizzie, who's, you know, is, doesn't even know how she's going to be carrying it on. My son, Alex, is in forestry here, helping and planting and healing plants on 200 acres here. So she's a global community manager at Salesforce, and he's planting every day, sending love and spreading love. So we carry this on. And that's the most important thing is if we can wake up now and help kids to give them the proper education to get them inspired if they're not an indigo kid or a you know asperger's or a lot yeah. Musk or somebody coming in we are that's why i'm working on two books right now two more books i did this book with barbara lamb i asked her to do et friends in space that talk about that's me on the front when i was five with my arcturian friends and et friends on a spacecraft and many many times since but if you know we all however we do it i do it because i'm an artist and designer went to architecture school and stuff that's what i do and i've talked to 15 people in the last year saying am i crazy why am i the only one that says that i've been doing interiors off planet my whole life and they said we've never heard of anybody else doing on asteroids and you know a couple thousand to millions of square feet inside the sun the moon the stars that i mean yeah, because if, if I just did, a, I've done regressions with Barbara to Misha. To, I mean, I've been talking to everybody because I, I wanted to go, is this really feasible? And they said, yeah, well, you're unique. We're like, you're new. We're all unique. And they, but I'd never heard of anybody. They had never heard of anybody doing interiors on planet. And they've been telling me forever that once that now that they're coming here, I'm going to be helping them because they like my work on planets. I talk to different species. I talk to the other humans. We talk about, they say, what do you want to do here, Mary? And I said, well, this is a small Quonset hut. You know, you know they're going to be visitors coming from all over, different species, hopefully all benevolent. <laughs> and um, let's talk about what your needs are and how much we can get done. And I've been going, I've gone thousands of times. And I went to off last week and I was somewhere last night. And I can't see a lot of this because I'm still blocked by a lot of the programs. So I have a couple of people helping me see those. But I know I've gone, I know, I know when I've gone and I know what I've done and it. And so no matter how wacky, whatever it is, like you going to Middle Earth, which we will get to over the next, we're going to do six sessions with you, <laughs> um, you know, or me off planet, you know, on the inside of the sun, people say, well, you can't go inside there. It's too hot. I said, well, there, yeah, but we have different protections. You know, it, there are different areas of it. Yes, we did several thousand square miles. Yes, they use my DNA to create rats to dig through because I have strong DNA. They like it. Go, go for it. I mean, I can't control all the things they use for me, for babies, <laughs> for thousands of ET, you know, hybrid children. Like, go for it. I'm here to serve. And if that's going to help us in the future, the now in the future, um, you've already done it anyway. <laughs> I started a long time at page five when you took a thousand of my eggs. I didn't agree to that. But it doesn't matter how old we are or what our one moment was of contact. That's when we know we have been connected and that is the love and the support that we need to know. And so many people don't even talk about that, which I find, I mean, I'm just learning more and more. It's learning to have the self-love and self-validation that yeah. we're not crazy and that, um, and that we are here to just help you and I, I mean, this conversation, everything is a ripple effect. Yes. My guides tell me to remind everybody else, as well as me, tend your own flame right now that oh, one just beautiful. pay attention to that. how you roll and the rest of it will all unfold the way it's supposed to you understand what your intention is and when you put those out in either word form thought form you know that that shapes your reality 
here is where if I could suggest to anybody, master that first. Just understand that every time you say, I hate something, and just because it's your reflex, what kind of energy you just propelled out there when you understand the idea that whatever you put out there, the universe is going to return in abundance. You decide now what it is that you really want. I can tell you that I modeled my life that way really after the last four years. And I've had the most magnificent experiences and no crap of any time has ever crossed my path. Not an upset driver who flipped me off. Nothing. It's remarkable. My but life has totally changed to too. In the manifest. Yeah. Yes, because we because our thoughts are things. I did a book five years yes. ago. Thoughts are things for somebody in Utah. And I, it was like you pick and choose. Like I drew a little picture of, of like me, a little girl in, the, in a flower bed in a field. We can either pick the dandelion or we can pick the negative. Because we know what snowflakes do when they are spoken to or yelled at. And now my life is effortless. I've never had effortless. I've never had love and flow. It's always been something. I mean, I keep going, is this, is this really my life? Because for all the last few years, recently in the last couple of years, particularly the last six months, the last since my last, since Francesca, but um, it is, and then daily now it's, it's the speed of light. It's hard to almost keep up with the uploads and the but it's, it's love is everywhere. I feel like I'm, you know, we are like love bubbles everywhere every day. And um, we pass that on and we play our part and we help, we help, we support. Well, if you're riding in the next dimension, which of course you are, I like to call it dimension straddling. Mm. You already understand and feel the law of one. We know we're connected to one another. Yeah. And that love, unity, and compassion is the basis of the fourth dimension. It's where we go back to recycle. Every time we're, you know, passing through another incarnation, that's really the angelic realm. You go back there and you're going to establish another soul contract with the lessons I want to learn in this next incarnation. And away we go. Mary has talked about regressions. And really, for people to have the ability to do that, with someone who can authentically help them get there like mary lamb when she talks about people like that those are people that are authentic and are connected in ways and um, empathic so that they can go down timelines with you and come back and help you interpret what th those are those people are gifts not every one of us carry those abilities i do but I'm not meant to use it because my first experience with it was not pleasant walking down somebody's previous timeline. And I think it was a warning that my guide showed me, here's what happens when you wander down someone else's timeline and you don't protect yourself first. So when I say tend your own flame first, everything about protecting your energy right now so that you can have the highest vibration possible that's my goal to assist you to get there because that's where i am and now i understand my role is to help the rest of you get there that are interested in it i'm not here to convince anybody of anything new but i can tell you with great certainty that the things i've come to the conclusion of because i was everybody just like you i believe this stuff and it's all manifesting truly. So if it's true for me, it's true for the rest of you. I'll help in what way I can to help you look beyond your three-dimensional view of things and what has been stuck in your head that you think you've learned so that you can experience the other stuff that's already been locked away in your DNA that's just screaming at you to unfold and recall and to regain your power through it, because the next dimension requires it. If your vibration doesn't match this new earth, you're entropying with everybody else. Now, I know if, if you're looking at this thinking in my 3D body and I'm going to die, you are not this. Your soul rides in inside of this particular bio suit I chose for this incarnation, and it's going to go away. We know that, but that's not the end of me, far from it, or any of the rest of you. My soul is going on to the next thing, and I've already understood I'm going to ascend. That's why I've had access and glimpses of where we're going, so that I can tell the rest of you what to expect. None of that 
my experiences and we'll get the photographs of light beings that I'm happy to share with you that were meant for my portfolio. So when the day came, I went to tell you stories that I'm going to have pictures of what it's like to interact with light beings and what that looks like, because I'm not the only one that was meant to do that. The rest of you are getting prepared for it too. And that's why this energy change that seems inside of us that we can't understand, it's coming at such a rapid rate because the universe is starting to prep us, not starting. It's been doing this in the background for a long time. It's accelerated to such a pitch. That's why people are waking up so quickly and reaching for answers. So, you know, we're trying to gather our resources together, the tribe showing up so that we know, you know, what areas of expertise people have so that when the next initiate shows up for mystery school, we know who to point them toward. Oh, That's what I'm doing. Yeah, because I've been told by Metatron, all different, I'm supposed to speak, which now I'm doing on CAM, which has been wonderful the last few months. And then also do books, do books, do books that they've been telling me for 15 or 20 years. They've been saying, and I said, I don't have anything to say. But I think now we're talking here, we, we should do a book on, I love the word, number 11. I'm an 11, 11 girl, but we should, why don't we get you, me, a few others, and everybody could write their chapter and we can just call it, we, or we can, you know, call it your flame book. Your, your, that's your quote. That's, it's, that is such a beautiful term. But I think that, and just get it out. I can, I'm, I'm working on a couple other books now. We could do that. It could be a few pages because most people are so busy today. Nobody needs to read a 50 or 100 page books. I do these right. ones. I'm doing two more. I did one on cancer for a friend of mine who passed last year called Booby Heaven. She was dying of breast cancer. And she said, can you whip out a book? And I did one similar to this. And I just drew these pictures, um, you know, of, uh, from Barbara's regressions and my, some of my experiences. But let's just do something simple like that because every every act we do, and a book is an easy thing, just put it on. We we are creating more of that wave of change and shift with the, our intentions. Um, you know, there's no coincidence to anything <laughs> that we talk about, and I'll tell you why. Um, somehow whatever divine inspiration landed in my lap to do some really cool um, AI illustrations. Ooh. I started knocking these things out. I was in a podcast a couple of months ago and one of the sidekicks to the host was a graphic artist. His name was Luis. And when uh, we were talking a little bit before we began, when we went on, he was showing me a little bit of what he did. And he said, you know, I'd heard a little bit about your telos thing and it inspired me. So he showed me what he had created with this AI, pro it's called Mid Journey. And you feed a keywords and it will come up with, you know, four different renditions of what it thinks you want to see. So well, what he showed scary. me <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. when he typed in telos, was freaking amazing. And he didn't have one, he had dozens of them. Well, there was one in particular that just spoke to me like, this looks like it's coming from this density going a light um, walkway to the halls of Amenti. So that's what it looks like to me. I had so a dream can I last have night. that? Yes, I mean, I had a dream last night, tell us, I just pictured the you know, white in the middle, like Atlantis and stuff, and I'll just, grab a couple of things here show you what i've been doing i mean well hold on let me finish this story before yeah. you go to that all i'm saying is is you know i have been recording my crystal cities everything and that's we can use your ai images or whatever the images are and tell your story well i, I think that. that was what i had when i after shortly after telos that was always what i had hoped Man, if I could just take out what I had seen so that others can see it, this would be great. I wish it was the VR unit you could put on your head. When I met Luis, I thought, wait a minute, Luis is the guy that's going to help me do the illustrations of the things that I've seen because oh, he can do that. No, no. Luis taught me how to do the program. Right. And I took it from there. So I've been doing this stuff for months now, and I've got hundreds of images I created. 
So oh, I love Sherry, that. Well, this should just be your. This should be your book. I'll help you put your book together if you want. Unless you I heard I just finished one yesterday, oh, and all it is is a picture book. It's oh, 329 God. pages long, but they're all images of Inner Earth and Atlantis oh, and Miriam. Oh. Yeah. So um, I, when you mentioned the book today, I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to the universe. People yes. had seen these images, Mary, and they had been triggered by them. Oh, my God, that's home. I know that place. And so um, I put them on Red Bull. It's a place where you can put these images out there, and people can put them on anything. You want to put it on clothing or a backpack or whatever. Red Bull, you can do that. B O W. Red Bubble. A oh, Red Bubble. Huh. Yes. Anyhow, uh, a few of them have gotten to be more popular. And one person, it was the third person who had said such a thing. She said, I'd cover my walls with these things. I, there's too many for, for me to choose. So she bought four. She said, just do a book. Okay, well, that was the third person that a guide had prompted to tell me to go do a book. So I finished it yesterday. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> I've just got to figure oh, out gosh. what image is going on the top, but it's going to be cool um it, it's called inner earth images um what was the tagline i should probably know this so i can promote it properly uh, oh, that's okay you just just hot off the press so this is good inner yeah, earth i just images. looked at my phone by the way it just turned 11 11 there you oh, go of course it did i saw mine too <laughs> i know mine 9 11 <laughs> i love it i see that every day too but I think, see, this is what we are interacting. We are brainstorming with ourselves and with everybody else to just whatever you, if you do poetry, if you do art, yeah. I mean, I'm helping, I help kids with, um, I mean, I, I drew, I'm working on, I'm just, that was me, explore, dream, discover. I am the universe. We are all are the universe and we just have to see it all woven together as right. a blanket. That's why I had started with rugs 40 years ago and I was in 80 showrooms around the country. It was like, I've got to start with the basic woven rug, which is culture, which is history, which is color and pattern. I see millions of colors. So anyway, we all do it in our own way. Like you did with this. I can't wait to see your art, by the way, but this it's is crazy. We're good. Like brainstorming. <laughs> I mean, we should do a creative workshop on how to inspire people. If whatever well, you are, there's, there's literally people in the tribe you need to meet. There's a young lady that I met at the Orlando conference, Sherry Divban, and Sherry's heart is for kids. She's got an entity called Aramis Creative Learning, and it's programmed for kids. So when you, we were talking about how, you know, our level of awareness at our age and that, you know, we're trying to help the children. Let me give you a newsflash. These kids that are coming in the incarnation are not as handcuffed spiritually. Oh, I know that. As I, I, I work with them. I know, I know they are, but they're a lot amazing. are because they learn because they've learned from their parents. And by the yes. age, by age one, your brain's already like, you know, judge. It's judgment. So we need to get to the millions of others that are not coming in as the well, she's turning, it's, you should see the archive of learning she's done because it's all kid related she's been doing some cartoons and why i say that is the, the last one she did she had seen my images and were triggered by it she put a lot of them in her last cartoon oh my god it was 16 minutes and this thing was awesome so you see how whatever tools we've been divinely inspired with right. make their way around like i claim no copyright over any of that stuff i yeah. I, it needs to get out and inspire people that if it's done that, I've done what I was supposed to do. I'm just a vessel. Right. But I think this does help. I mean, that's why I taught six to 12 year olds art and designed to college students. And I teach seniors how to redo their house just to, we got to help people break things up and see new paths and follow the yellow bird yes. on a different path. And get, because once you do your home and your life and your body and your spirit, then you can reach out. And that's what I call my, I bought years ago connecting inner and outer space because that's what what i've always wanted to do for 50 years with my wellness interiors whether it was for the vets or the wherever it was the thirty thousand acre hotel in china it was always about and not explaining it because it was too weird to talk about some of the things that we already knew and know more now of but that's what it, it's all about connecting and i've always cut my other tagline is bringing the outdoors indoors which you can see how i have here i have a small thousand square foot space my patio is 1200 square feet 
and I have this little rooftop build in an old fashioned, in an older building. I just happened to get the architect's unit that's with 10 foot ceilings that looks like the spacecraft, which I was like, <laughs> I said, that's what I want. I'm not moving. And I made thought, to order hey, two years. I wrote it down. And two days later, I walked in and I bought this place. Um, and then we had a, a water main break four years ago, right before COVID started and everything was destroyed. I was away for a night at Stinson Beach working in my sister's house. And um, I came back and everything was destroyed and I had to move out for a year. And I thought, okay, well, at least I'll get rid of my toxic paint, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'll redo the floors with even better natural, you know, floors, which I have. And I, you know, I saved a couple of things, but everything was destroyed. And I was like, okay, fresh new palette. Just, you know, it took me about two weeks to redo it, three weeks to redo it. And they had to re, I mean, it was down to the studs. It was, it was terrifying. Really. I, I, I think I had like a little mini nervous breakdown when I walked in with my mom and, for help and my family to have dinner that night. I'd been out since in beach and it was like, what the hell happened? And nobody had called me. So anyway, we just have to know that nothing matters. We're not here to have money, to have wealth. I've, you know, I got, you know, this was from a friend that's from a secondhand store. That's from off the street. I mean, I, I've been a recycler of life and energy forever. And I grew up in a really fancy family and I thought, great, we traveled the world, but I never cared about all those all the stuff. Um, I got these at, you know, Goodwill like 20 years ago. I mean, you know, just, we, we all do what we need and want to do, but I love living a simple less is more life. And I've, I've really reached that here um, in my space. And I always have, I use all non-toxic materials and, and just simple clean. And we just want to have simple, clean lives that where we can help others. Is all we're getting there an awareness of that existence is growing that's what you've got that's what i've got that's what lots of our friends around us have got um and other people are seeking us out however that happens so you know that there's no <laughs> refusing the fact that there's connectivity going on uh, uh, and all we get to do is try to help the next person I want to em emphasize, I'm not here to tell people what they should be doing. I can tell you what happened for me. But again, my journey is unique to me. And I, you didn't have to learn the lessons I had to. You're welcome for those, by the way, because the collective benefits from all of this. Right. All I had to learn my own lessons. In, we all have to learn our yeah. own lessons. And we all yeah. go through whatever hell we go through because no life is, if we're willing to admit it, and go into those deep corners, which it was great that a lot of people during COVID really had to. One of the only good blessings of it is people were squished back into their home. I got hundreds of phone calls. What do I do? I'm squished. And then I said, well, you've been, you know, you've been a working mom like I was forever, two kids. And I said, now you're squished back in, set up some space. Let's do some dividing things. Like whatever it is, the I have more pain, more gain. And I'm glad I've been through a lot of hell and back because <laughs> one of my art pieces up here is, was one of those sort of um, in honor of that. Um, the lower we go, the higher we rise. So um, bring it on. Well, I mean, nothing remember this, everybody. <laughs> Earth is an experiment. You're riding around your soul. Pick this avatar to be here during this particular time in cosmic history. You chose this. So you're here because you'd agreed on some lessons you were going to learn. And because this planet is all about duality, what lessons you were going to learn with, you know, everything is in balance. You're going to learn the good and the bad stuff. So when I say you're welcome for the lousy things I learned, because eventually all of that goes into the collective Akash. Mary's experiences all are there as soon as she can access them. She gives us the ability to learn those things. So, Mary, thank you for all the crappy things that you had to learn on our behalf. Well, back um, at you. Yeah, I mean, but thank you. It set up the stage for all the wonderful things we experienced, too, because that's what we got in return. So, you know, we were here as sparks of source, and we were here to help it learn more about itself. That is our job. And so when we come and pick those lessons, we're helping it understand. But all of this, this whole separation thing, I learned was a cosmic dance to help us learn about reuniting, reunion, 
That's what this whole experiment's about, and we're on our way there. And Earth is rising to her next level of consciousness. And humanity is about to go to the same place with their original DNA restored, their original design, so that we really get to see what humanity is capable of doing. We won't be in carbon suits like this anymore. No, no. Uh, buried, buried inside of you is light that's just waiting to be activated by your DNA. So when Earth's consciousness shifts and your vibration matches, your crystalline body, your light body is about to take shape. And from there on, we don't have to worry about bodies that wear out in 80 to 100 years. I can't tell you how old the Lemurians are. They're hundreds or thousands of years old. They're just flawless. That's what we have to look forward to. Yay. Well, plus we're seniors and we don't look it or act it. And, you know, a lot of, uh, and we are, you and I are futurists and there's some of the people we know, we've always been zooming ahead. We're pre-planners. We always want to know what's to come so we can run and catch up and see, you know, go see the obstacles so we can help others to, um, to just accept ourselves and others as so much of it as we grew up with such judgment the last almost 70 years of my life and my dad was you know worked with the government and nasa and military so you know it was every day it was the, about nasa and the government and the russians and chinese and here we are back again and we're in the second space race i grew up with the first space race every day at the dining room table and it was exciting and i know it's like here it's like a repeat my dad and i talk about it it's like i said does this and he said mary just remember, we've always all been healing. This is nothing new. He said, we've always been healing, but this moment is the right time. And he said, I'm so glad you got to have, you have your tribe now. I wondered when you would move on from your other interiors. And he said, I've been watching you. I love your work, which was really a compliment for, to hear from my dad because he never told me that in life. I mean, he liked what I did, but we've never had these really intimate conversations really about um, what he's, he did in his life. And he's still up there now working with the government, with the military. They still go to him. They talk. He's still helping people, individuals down here on, on planet Earth and is inspiring me. I said, what else should I do on my interiors? He said, make a move more. And I went, oh, good idea. <laughs> so you know, anyway. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to hear you talk about your father who, you know, is like neck deep in you know, his interactions with the government. So you can understand what his responsibilities are what well, was well, and now he's in heaven so he, now he right. just said i don't have them and he just said i couldn't talk to even anybody i mean he said i went to you know area 51 with werner von braun at 32 he said i was watched my whole life and i was kept told to keep my trap shut but he said i'm so glad to see you have the freedom now and he said yeah. you can say whatever you want like what we are because we do have the freedom pretty much well that's what i mean judge. his yeah. expression of awareness was yes. really touching for me uh, Dave has been, you know, recently around lots of people that work in the government, NASA. There's lots of people I keeping know, an eye on Dave because of what he's yep. been engaged in and what downloads that brilliant guy all of a sudden possesses. Um, but he says even these people were, that work inside the government, they're good people to begin with, but they don't know any more than anybody else does. Oh, and when dad. they want to know, you know who they're asking? They're asking people like Dave and I and you. Well, and they were asking my dad, and he wasn't allowed to talk about it, but they, the, he was still working with the, he and Warner talked about it. Einstein talked about it. He was with Einstein and Prince. I mean, so they talked about it a little, just a teeny bit because they knew they'd get wiped out if they didn't. But um, that's why they are coming to us. And that's why we are helping because, but dad really, and his, his, comp his father's grandfather's company started in 1893 and we're doing stuff in both the world wars. And so we were not only part of architecture and telecommunications and Apollo op dad's family. And that's why they sort of like some of my DNA and they like your DNA for your background. And they've been, I've been tracking it for 94 generations with people over the last few years. And it's just fascinating. And I have forever really with um, trying to track my lifetimes and why I ended up here. And it's fascinating. If you want to go on your own rock and roll ride to, you know, the wizard of us, wizard of me and you, a wizard of us, jump in, you know, that's why people like doing 23 and me and some of those TV shows, because Unless we go into those deep, dark corners and really learn everything, we're, we're trapped within our cellular body that has 
contained so much negativity and judgment, whatever family we were in, we all got it, right? So our freedom is ours in the choosing. So we can be as much me, I'm me, Mary Edwards, and me and you're you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but we have the choices every day, all day long to pick and choose what we want to be, how we want to live it. And we are here to spread love and light and good energy. And, um, and so it is. <laughs> here we are. Here we be here now. <laughs> um, well, anyway, oh gosh, we're up for the hour. Hours up, but I look forward to having you for part two in the next couple of weeks to hear more about your journey, which we didn't really, uh, you know, we got into another com another conversation. But um, would you, are you have any parting thoughts for the day that you'd like to share on your email or website? To um... well, this was to set the stage for sure. Yeah, actually, um, I, I one of the downloads I got from my guide back in September was uh, there were going to be lots of people that were going to seek me out, and I had to make it easier for them to find me. <laughs> my website is rather cryptic in its domain name. So what I was able to do in a 24 hour period, so you see how these things are amazing. I was able to register at Lowell Johnson, no spaces, dot info. And if you use that, you'll get to my website without having to understand dot com, right? Dot com. Cryptic nature. Right. Uh, no, no. Lowell Johnson, oh. dot info. That's it. Dot info. Oh, dot in. That's even easier. Lowell Johnson. I know, right? Dot info. Oh my God. That's the cleanest email on my website I've ever heard of. There you go. Oh my God. Divinely inspired. So a couple a couple sentences of parting words. Till um, next time. Wow. You know, people, it's, if I could take my finger on your timeline and move the thumb up to where you understood about dimensionality, here is where all the things that we're beginning to talk about would make sense to you. So whatever intent you need to put out there for yourself, Open yourself up to things that are bigger than you and the extraordinary things that we're telling you that we've experienced, there's something extraordinary waiting for you as well. You just have to be open to it. Um, somebody said this once, why do you fight for your limitations? And I just want to leave people with that. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, it's been just, I love you. I'm so grateful to have you here today and can't wait for part two, three, four and whatever, wherever we go with this. But for all of you out there, thank you so much for being with Connecting with the Stars today with beautiful Lowell Johnson and myself, Mary Edwards. Till next time. <laughs>